Hi, I'm Kimberly from Healthy Beginnings Fitness. We specialise in pre and postnatal wellness and we're located in Taunton, Somerset. And this is my daughter Maggie, who is six months old and I have a two year old as well. So you might have seen that sling wearing exercise classes are becoming quite popular. And I've been asked quite a few times over the last year whether I'd put a class on. There are lots of things to take into consideration when designing a good sling class because you can get it quite wrong. So I'm just going to give you a few pointers of what to look out for in a good sling class. So, the reason we're so cautious at Health Beginnings Fitness is because a lot of mums develop a separation of the abdominal muscles in the second and third trimester of their pregnancy. And that needs to be healed properly and looked after in the postnatal period. So at all of our classes, we check mums for a separation of the abs. Now, if you're wearing a sling for a long period of time and you are in this type of position with tummy really pushed out and an excess lumbar lordosis, then that helps to keep that gap in the muscles open and the connective tissue weak. So what we try to do is just get you into a better position. We untuck the bottom by taking our hips slightly back and we draw our abdominals slightly inwards. So the back muscles and the core muscles are doing their job. That's not to say that we are sucking belly button to spine. We're not doing that. So we're not drawing our tummy in and holding it really tight. When you do that, you increase the intra-abdominal pressure. And that leads us nicely onto the next thing that we check our mums for, or at least discuss with pelvic floor issues. If you're increasing the pressure in your abdomen by doing the wrong types of postnatal exercises, that pressure generally goes down to a weakened pelvic floor and makes any problems like incontinence even worse. So when we've designed our sling class, we've really taken those two things into consideration. We've kept everything low impact so that mums that have got any issues down below can still feel comfortable and confident in our class. And we've also taken into consideration any problems with a diastasis recti or separations of the abs. So we'll go over that a lot every class that we do. We'll always check our mums first and we'll always give lots of teaching tips to gently draw the tummy in and to use these postural muscles correctly. Another thing that you need to take into consideration when going to a sling class is baby safety. And we have a little card printed out with the tick checklist. And we have that available at the start of our classes for mums to just have a quick look at. And there's also the uh, Baby International uh, ABC of baby wear in there as well. So it's really important that both mum's posture, mum's tummy muscles, mum's pelvic floors are taken into consideration and that baby's comfort and baby's well-being is taken into consideration. So that's all the kind of safety stuff. But what can you expect from a class with Health Beginnings Fitness? Well, we're going to start off with a good, brisk power walk, keeping babies in a nice position, held in close to us, wearing rucksacks rather than bags on our shoulders, so again, we can keep that postural alignment. The power walk will get your heart rate up, help to burn calories, but it won't be really high impact, so we're not running or anything like that that's going to endanger baby at all. But the power walk will be a great opportunity to chat to other mums and to get some really great fresh air and some vitamin D when the sun is shining. Along our route, we'll be stopping every couple of minutes or so to do some sling safe exercises. And these are specific toning exercises that are going to target a range of muscles. And I'm just going to show you one of them in this short video. So a traditional squat, you take your hips back and generally, although your chest is elevated, you're coming down like that. And you can see that baby is being pulled slightly away from me. So we don't do that type of squat in a sling class. We might do a traditional squat in our buggy circuits class when baby is strapped into their buggy, but in a sling wearing class, we would adapt it slightly. So you take your legs out into a plie squat, you untuck the bottom, draw the abdominals gently in, keep baby in a safe position, and we're going down and then coming up and squeezing that bottom. You can see that my back is able to stay in a much nicer position than the traditional squat like that. So there's various ways that we can adapt exercises. We can stay down here and pulse, which babies find really nice and quite rhythmic. And already I can start to feel a slight burn coming through on the thighs there. So there's little toning exercises that we can do throughout the class that are gonna make you feel really great, that you're getting a good workout, but that you're still 
thinking about your posture and not going to do anything that might stress an already stressed tummy area or a pelvic floor. So that's just a brief introduction to our class. We're based in Taunton and we really hope to see you there. I hope you carry on watching the rest of this video. I've interviewed two ladies who run local sling meets and sling libraries where you can actually hire slings and have a go at them and you know just find out which feels right for you because they are quite an expensive piece of kit and if you're going to be wearing it a lot then I really recommend you go to one of your local sling libraries and have a chat to these ladies who are really experiencing loads of different slings and get some advice. Um, so please carry on watching this video where I'm interviewing Tammy and Liz and they're going to show us how to put the sling on properly. Thanks very much. I'm Tammy and I'm a maternity care assistant at, at Musgrove and I run Taunton Sling Meet with two other volunteers, Liz and Kate. Hi, I'm Liz, I'm the midwife and um, I'm the manager of Healthy Babies UK, a not-for-profit company and we have volunteers that help run a newly established sling meet in Tipton. So what can ladies uh, expect from the group? What we're trying to create is a non-judgmental environment where mums, parents, carers, grandmas, anybody who wants to come along with their baby or their child or anybody in their care and, and just come and be comfy with us. We are there to help and support with sling use and carriers, but also we're there just to have a nice place to have a gossip and a chat and a catch up and eat cake and drink coffee. We're a volunteer run group, so we're all mums ourselves um, that have either learned a bit more about baby wearing uh, as time's gone by or have a particular interest in it. And it's just a group gathering where you can come along again, have tea and cake and talk about different types of slings and we then have some available to show people and show the correct use of them. Can you guys tell us what some of the benefits of wearing your baby in a carrier are? I think the main one for me personally was suddenly I got my hands back. <laughs> I, I often hear in, in groups and, and the breastfeeding support groups and things that their babies want to be held all the time and then they feel that they haven't got five minutes to themselves or they want to feed all the time. When you wear your baby close to you, your baby cries significantly less. So you get your hands back and you also get your quiet time back. <laughs> it's been proven that babies that are worn in slings actually put on weight better because they're using less stress hormones their neurological developments are a lot better because they're making all those good connections, healthy brain connections to create secure bonds and attachments. So when your baby's ready to detach from you, they'll detach with confidence rather than being forced. Yeah, for me it was the recognition of, of this was their natural habitat. So when Jonah was born, within a couple of hours, I was able to put him in the sling, hold him close to me. Um, it did enable me to do skin to skin right at the beginning, but as time's gone by, it's just given me the freedom to be able to move around, go out, and, and he's much more comfortable because he's used to that. He spent nine months feeling that motion with me. There are lots of different carriers to choose from. Are there any particular ones that you strongly recommend that maybe pregnant ladies look into or new mums have a go with? I think personally for... For new mums and for newborn babies, a stretchy wrap style carrier would always be best because it supports the natural position of the baby in arms. So the baby's being held nice and close to you and the baby's getting all the support it needs from that fourth trimester period, that transition from womb to world. And is there a certain age or is it more on weight that you might move from a stretchy uh, sling? So like I use the Moby. Um, is there any uh, specific cut-off point that you'd then go on to something more structured? I think it's down to personal comfort myself. Different, there's a whole range of different stretchy wraps out there and they, and they vary in different supports. So if, if you've got a low end of the budget wrap, then you're probably going to get around six to nine months out of it. But if you're on the high end of the, the budget with a hybrid wrap, then you can quite easily carry in, into toddlerhood with it. So it's down to parents' comfort, really. When they feel the stretch is maybe getting a bit heavy, then, then definitely move on to buckles. Okay, so Tammy is now going to demonstrate how to put one of the stretchy wraps on with Liz. Okay, so all stretchy wraps come with a middle marker. They come with the little washing labels in the middle or the brand label is in the middle. 
So it very much is a little bit of trial and error to work out where the best place to tie it is originally, depending on your postpartum recovery. So what you're looking for is baby's head to be close enough to kiss. But when your tummy has gone down a little bit, it's usually just underneath the breast area. And then you take it round the back, crossing over at the back, and pulling up over your shoulders like a cardigan. Then if you spread your panels out. Now if Liz was ending up with something really quite flabby around here, flapping about, this is a bit loose for baby to be in. So she just take the top rail and just pull down until it's nice and tight against her. So you're looking for it to be tight against your arm. Then you post the tails through the middle band. Spreading out your pockets again. And then crossing these two tails over. And then going round the back crossing and now you're just tying up your fabric it doesn't matter where you tie your double knot on your side on your front on your hip around the back really doesn't matter wherever you're comfy so you end up with a nice cross of fabric and your little middle band and then we will get our baby our little ones up onto the opposite shoulder of the under pocket it's just much easier if you put them into the under pocket first so Jonah's got his beautiful little natural M-shaped position with his legs. If he was a newborn, he'd still have this position and they have this position for a long time. Just support the baby under the heel. This is going to reach up through and just pop him into the first panel of the fabric. Slide him across, spreading the fabric out from his knee over his bottom and up to his neck. Hello. Yes! <laughs> And then we're going to do the same with the other side. I know, I know. Now this, he's very well supported here. He can't go anywhere and the fabric is supporting his beautiful little natural M position. She's now going to pop him into the extra little bit. And this comes up over. Jonah's a lot bigger and he's got his head support, but if he was a newborn, we would encourage mums just to tuck his head gently onto the side. Don't worry if he doesn't want to do it. <laughs> or if babies go in and go, no, don't want to do that, just grab a little piece of muslin, roll it up under this bit so we create this to create the head support. It's very important for baby to have good head support. At the sling leads, we always recommend that you use a style carrier that's going to be supported to you and supported to your baby. So we always go with the tick safety list. So we want your baby to be nice and hot tight next to you. So Liz should feel like she can move around and she doesn't have to keep holding him really tight. He shouldn't pull away from the body. That Jonah should always be in view. So you should be able to see his eyes, nose and mouth. You should never not see his face. His chin should be off his chest, so you should be able to fit two fingers underneath his chin. He's nice and close, so he's close enough to kiss on top of the head. And the carrier will support his natural curve in his back, so we're not forcing his spine into any unnatural positions. Naturally, this style of carrier will make the mum pull their shoulders back, so they're standing beautifully tall and their centre of gravity is well protected because the weight is towards them. Maybe in some different style carriers, the weight's carried away, so mums tend to compensate by leaning too far back, and then the centre of gravity is not protected, and the likelihood of tripping is more potential there. When babies first go into carriers, sometimes they're not overly impressed because they're wondering what we're doing. They're looking for a womb-like motion, so just a gentle sway or a gentle jiggle often calms them down. Okay, this is just one style of a buckles style carrier. So moving away from a stretchy wrap when you feel necessary, when the weight is starting to pull down on you or you're starting to feel your baby's weight, 
usually around six to nine months that mums want to start moving forward with a different kind of buckles. This one goes on the front, on your hip, and it can also go on your back. Martha sat here lovely on mum's back. But still supporting her natural hip development, so she's still got this lovely M-shaped bend. Her bottom is nice and tucked up there, and her knees are well supported by the fabric. Mum's well supported because her shoulders are nice and back. The carry is nice and tight, so Martha's well supported, and you shouldn't feel the weight pulling back from you. Martha's weight should be onto your back. Yeah, I'm quite surprised at how... Um, supported she feels actually. So Martha's two years old now and she weighs around one and a half stone and I feel like I could quite happily go for a, a walk with her like this. So yeah. yeah. You, you shouldn't, a good carrier, you should always feel comfortable in. There should be never a saying of, oh she's getting too heavy to carry now because the weight of Martha's been put across these beautiful padded shoulder straps and this lovely big wide waistband here. So it's all evenly distributed around the body. Thank you. Thank you so much ladies for demonstrating how to wear the slings and what to look out for in terms of keeping those shoulders back and what types of slings you recommend. Um, you mentioned a little bit about your groups at the start. Can you tell us for local mums that might be watching this how they find out more about your groups and when your groups are on? So Taunton Sling Meet and we've actually got a sling library as well so mums can come and try out a variety of carriers. We're growing all the time. Um, and you can actually just put down a very small deposit and hire our carriers for £8 a month so that you can see and find one which is best for you. We meet in Shakey's on the third Monday of the month from 10 till 12 and we meet in the Cozy Club on the first Tuesday of the month from 10 till 12. The Cozy Club meet is often better for maybe mums with first time babies or our pregnant mums because it's just a little bit quieter. Um, Basically, just come and come and have a chat if you're interested, or if you want to come and try some carriers. Even when you're pregnant, we've got a weighted doll, so you can you can try out our carriers then. And do you have a website or a Facebook page? We do. We have um, our Taunton Slings on Facebook. Search us, and we're just in the process of getting a new website built. And we'll make sure we put a link to that on Healthy Beginnings Fitness when that's all up and running. And Liz, yourself, how about your meeting? Yeah, well, um, if you look at our website, Healthy Babies UK, and that talks about all the things we do through from antenatal to postnatal support, as well as breastfeeding and support and guidance. Our sling meet is the third Monday of the month, and it's at our headquarters in Tiverton at Honeysuckle House. Um, it's a small group, it's growing slowly, so we do have a sling library like Tammy, but it's a smaller collection. And a similar thing, we ask for a £5 don donation and a £5 deposit um, for a month's hire. Um, Thank you very much for your time, ladies. It was really lovely to, uh, to learn more about the slings myself. And um, I strongly recommend, if you live in the Tiverton and Taunton area, that you check out these groups. Really supportive, really relaxed groups. Um, highly recommend them. And if you do live further afield, because I know we've got lots of um, ladies that like our page that live all over the UK, then just check out a local sling um, library in your area.